Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall see what's going on on our lovely island of Bourne Hollow today, as we'll be going to do another Paradise Planning customization today. Um, what should we talk about today? Well, you know, while we're sort of loading up here into Paradise Resort, while we're sort of vibing out, um, <laughs> there was something I didn't want to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. And I was like, oh, this would be a good thing to talk about on um, today's episode because it's such a small thing. But I, I legitimately can't remember what on earth it was. So, you know, I apologise for what ends up being a rather anticlimactic start to this, you know, to be like, oh yeah, there would be a conversation here if I could think of a conversation, but I can't think of a conversation, so that's kind of, you know, that's it. <laughs> but it's okay, it's not long until we get to Paradise Resort, and hello everyone, right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 2.56pm on Sunday, July 10th, 2022. KK Slider is here because, of course, we had uh, the vision tourney yesterday, which we promptly did not pay attention to. I felt like it was like some video game thing which happened, or some event which happened yesterday. I don't, I, I really don't remember off the top of my head. Oh no, it wasn't about the thing which happened yesterday. It was, I was actually going to talk about it because, you know, some of my friends went to go watch um, the new Minions movie. Um, I didn't go with them because I was basically wholly uninterested in the Minions movie and the whole Despicable Me universe. Not that I think it's bad or anything. I've seen the second one, I thought it was fine. I haven't seen the first one, I haven't seen, or maybe I have seen the third one. I, I legitimately can't remember. But anyway, I'm not, not particularly well invested into the Minions. So I was just like, ah, you know, I'll, I'll just sit this one out. Um, and I'll just vibe it out at home instead. But, you know, um, it's a thing, isn't it, with the Minions movie. There's, like, um, a thing. I, I don't know if it propagated where exactly, but I, I hear it's on TikTok. With the Gentle Minions meme idea. Where basically a, a load of teenagers, you know, teenagers do what teenagers, you know, do to have a little bit of fun. Um, they will go to the Minions and sort of, like, ironically watch it. But they'll d dress up as if it was, like, a black tie event or something, you know. I suppose it's quite ironic me talking about the under and over dressed things a couple of days ago. Again, it's hyperly overly overdressed for a minion showing. And, you know, on paper, I'm just like, you know, when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, that sounds like a bit actually, honestly, quite a humorous idea. I'd imagine if I was like a, a parent and I was taking my child to watch the minions movie and to solo the teenagers, as long as they were civil and dressed up in like suits of dresses and, you know, as if they were going to like um, the, the prom night, I'd just be like, oh, how humorous. But, you know, apparently that was you know, the general idea of it. And then, you know, people ended up being very disruptive or something or dressed in suits or whatever. And so. It's like they really started like being very sort of belligerent or whatever. Um, obviously that's not cool. Um, you know, pranks are meant to have everyone laughing. You know, you already got people laughing, I suppose, by having been so overly dressed for the movie experience in the first place. You don't need to do anything of it. You don't need to go like yelling out, talking in movies, etc, etc, etc. Obviously not everyone has. So now you're here again. <laughs> um, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to, you know, judge everyone who participated in the two beauty salons right next to each other. Um, he did it because obviously not everyone probably, you know, was incredibly disruptive. You know, some people probably did the, the gentle minions that mean, but, you know, were particularly respectful or whatever. It's just a shame that, you know, some people had to ruin the whole the whole thing for everyone, isn't it? Because um, it got it got ruined by, by the sense that um, people are now, like, banned or something from going to a minions movie while wearing a suit or whatever, which is, you know, a fair, a fair you know, response from the cinema because... It was just like, oh, you know, all, all these people coming in and being really disruptive won't get a complaint. You know, fair reason to be like, yo, stop that. An interesting thing that one of us and was, uh, we, did, we did go to uh, did that as a, as a response instead is they had a special, special screening of minions called specifically just for gentle minions. Who's back there? Hello. I, I, you're, you're, you're like um, Sherman or something. Or, no, sh uh, you, you're... you're well, I don't know, I can't remember, but you're named the same as the person in Big Bang, Big Bang Theory, that's all I remember. Um, but they, they have a special one. Oh, pirate one could be cool. Um, honestly, we might do that pirate one from Broadway. Because um, we haven't done a pirate uh, customization yet. And we do have a lot of a pirate furniture items from... Um, what's his name? Gulliver, right? So anyway, I was, um, you know, props to that, that cinema for, you know, doing something rather clever, I think, and having a, a specific showing just for the gent uh, for gentle minions. So, you know, all the teenagers come together. They can come they, and be dressed in suits and black tie, um, for formal attire or whatever. Oh, I did not mean to take that off. No! Sucker, get out of here. I wonder if it turns itself back on. Next time I come back, I'm not sure. Um, come to a formal attire, they can have that inside joke with everyone and have that little bit of fun and you know the families won't be uh incredibly disrupted either um but it, but it's a shame you know that 
some people just, you know, can't behave themselves and things like this. That ends up ruining it for everyone. Or, you know, perhaps I'm perhaps I'm giving them too much credit. Perhaps that was a general idea from the beginning, was just to go to the Minion show and just be, you know, really annoying in the first place. In which case, I apologise for, you know, giving them... But, I mean, I like to give people benefit of doubt, but it feels like a fair assumption when you're, you know, you're still talking from a place of ignorance, right? Like, I don't really know what's going on. It's a bit much for me to really comment on something which I don't really have much idea for. <gasps> we can use the pier one! Sorry. It's <laughs> completely random um, interjection. I was just trying to think about which acre to use. We can actually use this pier one, because we can dock the pirate ship here. <laughs> it's probably, it's legitimately one of the only times I think we could validly use this pier. Um, the, the other option is we could put them, you on the... Uh, one of these like remote beaches but there's so many things which fit the beach aesthetic because of the summer theme but I, the fact we have anything with any some sort of like ship vessel i want to i want to do the, the pier one because <laughs> there's so few customizations which i think even fit the somatic in first place uh we'll give you a one level home oh we could actually give you a two level home and then turn your actual house into a pirate ship no you're meant this is meant to be the pirate hideaway Wait, is that a pirate ship item? I honestly don't remember. I should have paid attention to what um, your furniture items are, because that will probably give a little bit of more of a um, idea if, if they're wanting us to turn the actual house into a pirate ship, or if the, the, this house is meant to just be the secret, the secret um, pirate's den, and then we have a pirate ship outside. So let's just have a look at the furniture items we have, and then we can sort of draw a conclusion from that, I think. Um, but yeah, anyway, gentle minions. If you do it, just, you know, don't be a nuisance. That's about it. Okay, but, but this does look like pirate hideaway, sort of, um, things. Iceberg? What? Um, see you. Hmm. I mean, we could do, we could make this into a ship. Like... We could do a ship and then we can have a crow's nest above. How does that sound? And then outside we could have like, um, we could put benches down like it's drinking bars or things like that. So if we want it as a ship, we have to do it like this, right? Okay, yeah, let's try it. Let's try making this inside a ship because I think that's one of the more creative things we could do. Um, I want to add an upstairs. Uh, leave it all to me because I want to make a crow's nest up here you know it's a very sort of similar energy to what I did with uh, the lighthouse customization I did for I don't even remember who it was for Stu maybe um, we're gonna have a very tiny tiny upstairs thing which is just gonna be the crow's nest the crow's nest being like you know uh, where, where some of the, the, the lookout stays just to basically get a bit of a lay of a sea you know um, So probably ocean makes my sense. And then instead of having a fencing, we're gonna have ocean horizon wall. Ship deck again. And then I think an interesting thing could have been to, to actually like um I forgot what I was gonna say. To do a bait well you can't actually do a basement, but if you could have done a basement to do a basement like thing. Uh, we're gonna have to do it for two by yeah two by two in here for like a post it's gonna be very simple because it's just literally just meant to be like a um a crow's nest but i think a very interesting thing you could do is um try and make like um i forget like a sleeping quarters under the ships i forget what they're called for pirates but whatever whatever that thing's called could be an interesting idea i don't know what we're going to use as a fence we might not use anything, I'm going to be honest. We should use something. Maybe our low island counter will be good enough. Is this dark wood or is this normal wood? No, the light wood actually looks better, surprisingly. Maybe because it's under the, the coloration wood? I mean, that doesn't look right. That just looks like a... This just looks like a completely different... How's that worked? I don't know. So anyway, if it's a crow's nest... 
Uh, annoyingly, this is not going to look very good like this, is it? That's also like no room. Okay, we, we need to use a fencing like item if we're going to do something like this. If we even want to do our own, isn't it? is a bit annoying. There's not more like fencing like items we can end up using in here, is it? Um, use a wood partition, perhaps. That seem a bit overkill. That's I want it more like a faded, yeah, vintage wood. Okay, maybe let's just sort of pop back to the side for now. It's not going to fit, is it? Ooh, what are we going to do about that, huh? We're not going to have the fences able to fit throughout this entire thing. But I don't really want to make it bigger than a 4x4. Four four. It kind of makes sense it being so small like this, doesn't it? As far as alternatively, we could we could do it like this. And you'd be like, what are you doing? I don't necessarily know yet, so just sort of hold on to your horses. What if we did it like this? There's basically like no room. Hmm. I'm not in love with that. It might be okay just like this. No, I think we I think we just don't use fences. You know, there's a, there's an implied fence. I mean, the alternatives we could use the, the wallpaper with um the thing again, but this it's not the, quite the right type of thing. I think I'd I'd like a low fence ideally, but I mean we got the screen low screen, but it's got like a paper thing in the middle, which seems a bit strange, doesn't it? I feel like it doesn't really fit. I mean, we might as well give it a shot while we're here, you know, it's not its not like it's going to take us much time. I suppose, yeah, we could put a pattern on it. I didn't, I didn't necessarily mean that pattern. Um, what is the most pirate-like pattern? There, there is a skull and crossbow in pattern, isn't there? I might be making that up. I feel like there is. Yeah, what, what, you know, do some, a little something like this. These actually fit in the corner, which is quite nice. And then this stuff will just be like... I guess that's how we'll do it. We'll not have things in the corner. Yeah, I think I think we'll just leave the corners blank. And let us just see how we want these patterns to be laid out, lest they be a little bit too repetitive, I would say. Hmm. don't really think there's much choice. I think, I think we do have to make them repetitive. I, I, I do think we have to make them all basically face the same way. Otherwise, it draws too much weird attention for like um, irregularities in the, the fencing pattern, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's it's a rather simple up upstairs. Um, I think what I think we could do is we could also um, do the, the, the Taurus telescopes. I don't know what else you'd have in a crow nest. I can't really think of. Like we could put a, a pile of rope up here. I don't I don't even know if that's an item. Oh god, no, let's find the tourists. Uh, not 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 that telescope. Yeah, these ones. And it might be fun to put... I'm not sure if we have a pile of rope. You don't really store things in a crow's nest. I'd, I don't think we need any of those that stuff. So we'll do this, you know. Even though obviously this is not really what... Um, you, you wouldn't have a tourist telescope up here. I don't think we have, like... I don't know, but not as an option. It'd be in here somewhere, probably. Be, 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 ba, be, by binoculars. Or like a spyglass or something. I don't think that's a thing. Hold on. Instead of searching in here, I just search it like through Google. Google has all answers. Well, not all answers, but New Horizons, binoculars, Taurus telescope, Vesta binoculars, um, spyglass. Pirates are haughty, what on earth? Okay, it, it does not seem like that there is any sort of 
telescope telescopic or um pirate esque thing so we're, we're sort of just stuck with a bit of a tourist telescope that's not used to if anything i'd like only one sort of pillar in the middle but okay it was going to be like no space but whatever as long as it gets a sort of general idea across it doesn't really matter it's meant to be a rather simple thing now uh, i'm going to search a pirate ship so i can actually remember what a pirate ship looks like pirate ship deck just so we can build one together if anything i should channel what Oberdin looks like there's a stock one there's a, a adobe stock photo which is you know quite nice i suppose um let's have it facing to the left i think that makes more sense um so we need a pirate ship not a pirate ship sorry yeah a, st a steering wheel of course uh, we'll pretend this is a raised up platform, despite the fact that it's clearly not. We'll have pirate ship cannons, despite the fact that these should be beneath deck, I'm going to be honest. But, alas, uh, we'll only put them on... I don't know if we've got room to put them on both sides, I'm going to be honest. Mm, maybe get rid of that one. It seems a bit unnecessary. Um, well, we can't really put most of this stuff down, I'm going to be honest. Um, I think... We'll use the rug tactic to make it look like a different floor. A raised up flooring, you know, the, the usual stuff of putting down wood panellings to give that effect. Might might give a stairway effect as well, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll use natural wood square tiles. Oh, it's, it's a bit of a different colour than I expected. Um, dark wood flooring? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Alternatively, we could try using this one, putting it in the middle, and then having a sideways one, this side. Please just, oh, wait, there might not be enough, there's not enough room, by half a square. Alas, we, we cannot increase the room size by half a square, so farewell to V, I suppose. Um, we'll do that. I don't know if that's the one I want to stick with, but it's probably the best option. Uh, we're going to have a repeat of what we did upstairs. All the wooden pillars. I don't know why these are glowing so <laughs> strangely. Um, although maybe we, sh we should put them like... No, because this is where the crow's nest is. It has to be here. And then maybe we can have... It's annoying that these pillars... We can't do half squares with these pillars. We can have a smaller pillar there. I'm just trying to see where the, the mast goes. It goes next to the grate. It doesn't really go on the grate. Hmm. So I suppose we could we could do this. If only we could off center this ever so slightly. <laughs> um, alas, we can't. So we'll just do that, and we'll just sort of roll with it. Um, no, let's make it central. Even though it doesn't make sense, it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing, I would have thought. Um, now we just need to sort of like... Okay, wh what do you have as guaranteed items you want here? An antique map, a candle and a barrel. Right, because you want a hideaway instead of a boat. Well, okay, we'll do the hideaway part outside, probably. Um, and you might be like, that doesn't make sense. You should do the inside as the actual house part as a hideaway. I don't disagree necessarily, but I think this is like a fun way, a fun alternative to how we do it, you know? Let's have a bucket over here. Um, perhaps they just store things over here like a barrel. Put a treasure chest back here, maybe. Actually, probably an antique map makes sense over here so we actually know where we're going um maybe maybe on a desk of some sort I'd, i feel like a golden table is a bit much but i don't i don't know what other table we'd use instead um i want to keep that in the ship in the pirate area so we'll scroll down for tables here just just want a simple two by one table one, one of these has a vintage Thing, but I don't remember which one. Like a vintage finish. Um, 
I do I do forget which one it is. Uh don't know. Let's look at more pirate ships and if I ideally we'd have like captain quarters or something, but um why don't we let's just put it on a crate. Um I forget what crates are, I'm gonna be honest. It'll probably be called crate. Not cardboard. Not all of this stuff. Probably should have done it the other way around. Probably this section should have been the one where we stayed in the pirate section, but oh well. Clip. Kotigan. Coffee. Crate. Okay, it says crate. Oh no, it's not called great. <laughs> What's it called? Um, I don't even know what section it's in, is the worst part. Oh, we're at the pirate section now, so. Um, Oh, is it some? Oh, I know here it is. Okay, never mind. Wooden box, it's called. I was gonna be like, is it something which is stackable? It might be a stackable item. Uh, we're gonna use this dark brown because it. Oh, actually, let's just check the other colours. No, we're gonna use that dark brown because it looks like old. Um, what am I doing? I'm pressing the wrong button. Um, I also just realised I haven't put the, the ocean. Oh, we can make it seem like sunset, but I don't think I particularly want to. I think we just want. Normal natural lighting. Pop this down over here. Treasure map, just so we know where we're going. Um, it'd be not. I don't know. If pile of ropes isn't is an Animal Crossing item. Animal Crossing pile of ropes. Ropes partition. Oh, that's a, that's a wrong sort of rope partition. That's like the ones you see at like the Hollywood red carpet. It doesn't seem like pile of ropes is a thing, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what what else? What do we have on this end of a pirate ship? You have another raised platform, it seems. I'm just trying to look. What if we look about Adobe pirate ship? Oh, that's a background. That's not a model. I thought it was a model. What's up? What's up with stern of a ship? Is that the front? I forget. Stern bow. Yeah, but that sounds right. Right, you have like a reel. Ah, you have like reels of rope. Because that, that's where I like the... That's what that looks like. I wonder if we can use the garden... Um, the garden hose and make it look like rope. I don't know if it customises. But we might as well look, I suppose. Also, I don't know what the garden hose is. Uh, let's do it alphabetically. Gar garden. It's not called garden. It's just called hose, probably. H, H, H. H, H. Or something here which is called H. H hedge standy. That's called grass standy. This one's hedge standy. H H hose. Here we go. Hose reel. Does this have a ropey looking customization? Like, kind of? It's passable, I would say. Maybe the black one looks a bit better. Mm, marginally, I'd say, because it almost looks like white rope. Um, so we'll put that... Put that stuff over here. Put, put the bucket over here. So we'll put reels over here, pretending... Pretend that's the stuff which is holding up the mast. Um... I think storage stuff makes more sense to probably put like a, at the end of her. At the end of the old ship. Um, cannibals. I don't think we have cannibals as an item. Uh, what other pirate? Oh, we can put pirate treasure chest. Oh, sorry. I forgot we should we should be using a pirate barrel. These two. What are they full of? I don't know. Gunpowder? Maybe? I don't have a lot of pirate things, I'm not going to lie. And an anchor. I suppose you do need an anchor on a ship, that does make sense. Okay, it's a rather simplistic customization, of course, but I think it's fine. I don't really think it needs much more. You know, it looks like a ship, is what I'd say. You might be like, no, it doesn't. In which case, I'd be like, fair enough, we all got our different opinions. But let's not let them divide us, you know. Let's try and build each other up, you know. You can have constructive criticism of what makes it a ship and what doesn't. 
obviously, you know, I'm, again, restricted by my medium, but there, therein lies part of the fun of being able to create within certain restrictions because restrictions do, in fact, breed creativity. I think we use a bird mobile to get some seagulls in here. Just sort of have them flying about the place, make it make it really feel like it's at sea. I don't know why all these birds are flying in different directions. I don't don't think that's particularly common for birds. Normally they fly together, don't they? But whatever. I mean, these birds all hate each other, so they're flying in circles, sort of away, away and around from each other. Um, don't think about it too hard. Don't, don't think about it. Okay. Probably probably could have done it um, up upstairs as well. And I think about it. It'd be nice if we could just put like a cloud in your room, but we can't. Um, I think this is fine. I'm going to double check the upstairs customization because I, I feel like I didn't put the yellow lights in. And we might as well put more, more mobiles in. More of these bird mobiles. What? Oh, it's because I'm not in customization mode. Why would you ever not be in customization mode? This is so much more convenient. So this one will just have two of them sort of flying out like this. Just you just want to get that sort of sensation of stuff going. Um, I don't know if we need to polish anything up here. I'm not convinced. Um, I don't know if we need to polish anything. Oh no, we should polish polish the treasure chest probably. That's probably the only thing I can think of which makes particular sense to polish. Um. We could polish one of the, the cannons to make it look like it was smoking, like it had been recently fired. Apart from that, I think I think we're good. Apart from that, let's do you outside. We'll just try and figure out how we're going to get things done out here, because I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, this outside is going to be rather disconnected on the inside. We're not going to make this outside look like a boat because, well, we can't. Um, we're going to pretend that this is the secret hideout and then... What? Well, pretend this outside is a secret hideout. Um, I don't know which of these bit best. And then um, we'll just have like the prisons or stuff be out here. You might be like, why would the prison... Um, the, the prison rooms be in a completely, you know, like out separate area rather than underneath a pirate ship? Well, you know... I don't have a good answer. We it just it just kind of has to be. Just by by the way, um, this game has set things up for us. Well, Black Commodore. We're obviously going to put the Jolly Jolly Roger on here. Is that what they're called? Jolly Roger, right? Jolly Rogers. Yeah, Jolly Roger. <laughs> Oh, so that doesn't sound right for some reason in my head. Um, so we'll pretend that's a se sort of secret base. Uh, we'll do other things. This obviously, um, we need to put some of this stuff in. So we're gonna have like barrels. Can we put stuff up here? We can. So we'll have like barrels, or, like shipments. Um, we want we want to make a secret, so we might as well make it like kind of like nighttime esque. We sort of meet by moon. Moonlight. I was gonna say moonlight. That's that's not how words work. Um, I like the idea of having jails. Like they've they they kept some people prisoner here. It's kind of what pirates do, I assume. I'm not really an expert in pirates, gonna be honest. Um, we will do something like this. You know, we'll put um, a creepy skeleton. Just pop pop you in here. I don't know if we have anything else which really makes sense in a prison. Maybe like a candle. To watch them. A prison guard. They clearly didn't pay m that much attention. Or maybe could, maybe it's just a fake skeleton. And it's just sort of being used to scare people. Fair enough. Never know how mysterious pirates work. I don't know what I saw here. Oh, I guess it's meant to be like um, a pirate cutlass. But we can't make it look like a cutlass. Certainly makes things a bit difficult. A violin for like a fiddle. I mean, some of these things are interesting, but 
Like, obviously, like, these items on their own make sense, but they don't make sense, like, with the way they're put into Animal Crossing. A stone tablet? Like, a hammock makes sense. Yeah, sure, why, why not? This is a person who's on night guard watch, you know, seeing the, the pirate shipments come in. Does that make sense? Not really. But again, don't think about it. If you think about my customizations too hard, you'll, you'll start to realise that none of it makes sense. And that's no good for anybody. Just sort of, you know, like, close your eyes, enjoy it, just be like, yeah, th this is how it's meant to be. I can't see it happening any other way. <laughs> um, a yacht is interesting. I don't... We can't really make it look like a pirate ship, I don't think. I'll pretend that's a pirate ship. So if shipments come in, this is where the boat is. Pretend that's a pirate ship, even though it's clearly not. Can we unfurl its mast? Or its sail, I suppose. I guess not. Sail! Um... Might be nice to put in a little path. It's rather simplistic outside, but we don't I don't really think we need much more to be honest. We could do something like this. I don't know why I'm rounding off this corner. Actually, let's make it a wooden path, I think. I think that makes the most sense. As a lead up to the secret base. You know, pirates, they like, like to work with wood. And then inside here, we can make it muddy and dirty. Something like that. And then, perhaps, uh, just, what, just one more item sort of like to take up the space. Um, what, what, what are a pirate secret hideout like? Like, what, probably like, a little campfire, like a place to sing songs. Let's see, pirate secret hideout. If I just put it into Google, I'll get some good ideas. Oh, they probably like some chairs. They probably like some, some, something to drink with. You know what? Let's get some bottles out here as well. Um, I oh, look, someone's done an Animal Crossing one here. <laughs> That's quite convenient. Decorative bottles. The implication of alcohol without actually showing it, of course. Um, it probably like a little bit of decoration just to sort of spruce things up. Move that candle away. Make it copper. Up here, like someone's checking, checking all the things that they've they brought in from today. I like two sort of very simple chairs, maybe stools, of some sort. So like the pirates are just sort of like chilling around, sitting around, chatting. You know how it is, pirate stuff. J just a simple wooden stool, yeah, here we go. Using, I want to use a more gross wood, but that's not an option, so I guess we'll just have dark wood. They'll just sort of chilling around here, doing who, who knows what. More, more empty bottles around them. Bottle, bottle of rum. We'll rotate this one. Actually, put a label on it so it looks a bit different. Looks more like cola, but still. Um, sharing a daring exploits. How about another wooden crate back here? Maybe a bit, bit of a different one. Still dark brown. Make a look at this, and then we'll just put, you know, like, um, for, uh, the, the ship in a bottle, which I always, for some reason, feel like it's called, like, a daisy in a bottle, for some reason, despite the fact it clearly is not. Um, oh, there you go. I think, I think this customization has a lot of room for creativity. I feel like uh, people could do a lot of different things around here, you know? Not necessarily the way I've done it, but... I like it the way I've done it, you know? And I think if it's... A tiki torch could be interesting. 
just just as means of some form of light around here, I think makes sense. We could pop a candle over here. Spread things out a little bit. I think it's okay. Turn these on. I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. Um, we will customise what you're wearing. Right away, you kind of look like a pirate already. So, if anything, I feel like you, you, you've you already dressed up to fit the situation before us. We'll see what you got. Okay, uh, Viking top? Obviously not. Stripe tank, skull tees a bit on the nose, paisley bandana. There's a lot of Viking stuff here, but <laughs> I mean, we'll just give you a color scheme makeover, I think. Uh, paisley bandana does not look great on you. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what was the other thing? I can't remember. We'll just scroll down until we see something which looks. Remotely fitting. I'm surprised it's not a pirate top. Wait, we have a pirate shirt. What am I doing? It might be in dress up. No, hold on. We we definitely have a pirate thing because we, we we must have gotten something um, from Gulliver about it. Must be in dress up. I don't think I've ever put it on, but so I don't, I don't really remember it. M O P P P P. I went past it. P -p -p Here we go. Pirate outfit. Heck yeah! Look at that. Stylish. I guess I'll just give you a black one because we we haven't really thought of much of a the color scheme we've got going on, do it, haven't we? I say we. I say me. Pirate hat. Yar. And then give you an eye patch. Um, not that sort of eye patch. We don't have a pirate's eye patch? We don't have a pirate's eye patch, I was going to say. Wonderful. You look just apart. And your pirate's done. Honestly, I think we're done. It's quite a fast one, but that's because a lot of it's quite empty, I'm going to be honest. We've only got so many pirate things to put down. And most of the detail in the, pi in the pirate setting is beneath deck, I think. Let's have a sip of water before I overheat. You will stay hydrated as well. Let's see what other people have done. What's this called? Rod Pirate Secret Hideaway. What have people done? Ah, this person's done like a pirate's cove. That's quite nice. That's quite a nice idea. This... I, I can't really tell what that is. This person's also done the ship thing. It's a much fancier ship than I've done, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, but okay, they, they've done the, the, the layer below. That makes sense. It's quite a fancy pirate. Get away. I, I made a quite a rustic one, I suppose, rather than um, this fancy take on it. I do quite like a fancy take on it. We used the, the I forgot what they call it, like semi casule barrels or something. as like buckets. Mine's rather simplistic looking at everyone else's, but you know, that's just, you know, what happened, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, this stuff looks really cool. Oh well. <laughs> As I said, and uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of cool things you can do with this one. I certainly probably could have done better, but you know, I'm not too upset with what I got. It looks like a pirate ship. What more could you ask for? You might be like, that wasn't the main goal, is to look like a pirate secret, like hideaway. In which case, I'd be like, that's a fair point. But you know, as again with all these prompts, there's sort of just starting points you can use them, and you know, bend the prompts exactly as you desire to get the sort of customization that you want to create because at the end of the day it's all about you having fun you know creating it isn't it there's tons and tons of people out there who've created every single customization well maybe not every customization but people have already customized the customization you've done before find find your own sort of niche you know but put your own heart into it put your own unique spin your own style into it and you can't go wrong I don't know why so many of my random Animal Crossing conversations just end up turning into what amounts to sort of like um baseless advice. Not baseless advice, but like sort of just like hollow advice, I think would perhaps be the better way to put it. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's fine, I, I suppose is what I'd say. Like, certainly, I think there's a certain 
I felt like some stuff, some stuff was missing. Uh, if I spent more time, I probably could have found out some more items to really sort of fill up the place. But at the same time, I think it's fine how it is. <laughs> it's just like you're one of a mill sort of pirate ship. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, I'm going to round off this episode here. So if you haven't watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, subscription, shares, I greatly appreciate it. Join me Dear, Dear Darling Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>